to all the brothers and sisters out there in social media land, especially my Hebrew Israelite brothers. I keep telling y'all, keep telling y'all over and over again, we're down on prospect, okay? Uh, IUIC, they down here on prospect. They are hollering and screaming at somebody, they pissed somebody off, somebody came back and shot one of them. Somebody that came back and popped one of them. And I've been, and I've been telling y'all this for years, man. I've been telling y'all this for years, man. These dudes on these corners, man, they they going about it the wrong way. The most I ain't gonna be pleased with that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, what they what what they supposed to be doing? They supposed to be incorporating what they learning into their own lifestyle. Well, I done told them. All right. All right, Abraham, Israel. And to all the rest of them. To all the rest of them. To all of the rest of you Israelite brothers. All right, yo, she Yahoo. To all you Israelite brothers. I've been telling y'all for years. Y'all know I've been at war with these camp brothers on these street corners for all of these years trying to justify all this nonsense. Now right here in my hometown, it's one of them over there laid down leaking. Leaking because they didn't come in the neighborhood with that hollering and screaming and bothering people that's going on about their way. They're not doing God's work. Y'all better believe that. I don't care how many street corners y'all standing on. Y'all better come up off of them corners and leave people alone. Y'all can't reach nobody like that. Yep. So now you got one over there, one of them over there leaking. And it don't make no difference if they can accept... They shot him twice. They shot him twice. They well, shot him twice. Well, I, back. No, they didn't shoot I, back. I, you they, know what? The dude just shot at him. I bet. They ain't had no gun. I bet you they one thing. Just pulled up and hit him. Yeah, they were just pulled up I bet he stay out for that corner. Where dude go? Yeah, there's the he money right there. The dude that was talking to him. Man. No, he was with the money the dude standing in the yep. line. He wasn't saying nothing. He got shot in the hip and yep. in the leg. Yep. Yeah. But I mean, telling you, see, and they send these young guys out on these corners, and these young guys don't know nothing about what they're dealing with. With these rehearsed Bible scriptures, man, I keep telling y'all, y'all gonna learn, though. Y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn, man. Y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna, gonna learn. We need to stop this bullshit and start giving Y'all gonna learn. Y'all gonna learn. So dudes are just talking, and then somebody pulled up and just start shooting. Yeah. So nah, yeah. nah, it ain't that they just, yeah, so, so it's what it is, it's what it is, see the scriptures say you can't pass sea and land to try to convert somebody to what you believe, and when they get converted, he say you make them twofold the child of hell, you make them twofold the child of Satan, and what that means is that these young brothers, they learning all of the wrong things. These brothers on these street corners, they come past and see and land to try and convert somebody to uh, what they call Israelite heritage, which really ain't Israelite heritage at all. It ain't Israelite heritage at all. So they're trying to convert brothers to what they believe. And once they convert these young cats to what they believe, put them in these uniforms and all of that stuff, then this is what you got. This is what you got. So while we over here, we might as well, we might as well give y'all a demonstration. And I know these cats, they see me around here, but I don't bother them. I, I, just, ass, I just let them do what they gonna do. Now, y'all take a good look. Y'all better take a real good look. Man, I can't even flip the camera around. Why can't I flip the camera around? Yeah, that's crazy right there. That's crazy right there. That's crazy right there. I can't even flip the camera around. Let me see if I can flip the camera around. I can't flip the camera around. I can't flip the camera around. Wow. See, I ain't got nothing against my young brothers, but I just try to keep telling them over and over and over again. Y'all not dealing with the scripture when y'all doing these things. These are young men, man. Look at these cats. These are young guys out here. These are all young guys out here. They ain't been in the scripture long enough to know nothing. They ain't been in the scripture long enough to know nothing. And they get these dudes out here and get them a part of this stuff, and this is what you end up with. A bunch of kids out here hollering and screaming at people 
and you're going to piss somebody off eventually. These young cats, they're a different kind of generation. They're not going for that. They're not going for that. But you see it. You see it for yourself. Y'all see it for yourself. And these young cats ain't going to be dealing with that stuff, man. And I've been telling these brothers, I've been telling these brothers for years. And all they want to do is argue, 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 argue. Well, you know what? Wherever God, wherever God's presence is, you're going to find his power there too. That means that when you go out on a mission to do God's work, you ain't going to have people shooting at you because you're going to know how to deal with people in the way that's, uh, that's conducive to building them up, not tearing them down. You come out on these streets dealing with these young cats, dealing with these young cats. You can't be dealing with these younger people like that, man. They don't care. Their parents ain't never taught them nothing about God. In most cases, and then, then if you're going to deal with some of these young cats, you got to deal with them on the level that they on. You can't go out there talking about, you know, reading, the, reading this Bible scripture, calling people wicked, telling people God going to kill them, God going to destroy them because they won't keep this, keep that. The law, statutes, and commandments. They ain't even keeping the law, statutes, and commandments they own self. What law, statutes, and commandments are any of these camp brothers keeping? They not keeping them. And they come out here on these streets full of hatred and talking to their people any kind of way. That's not, that's not the most highest way. We look at the book, a book of Ezekiel 30, uh, 30, uh, 30, what is that? 34th chapter. Go read it for yourself. Son of man prophesied against the would-be shepherds of Israel. Tell them because they didn't do this, because they didn't do that, because they did this, because they did that. And kept it off in the night verse said, I will cause them to cease from feeding my flock. And I'm going to require my flock at my own hand. See, the Most High talking about he's going to deal with his own people. They don't have no spirit to bring conviction on another man. None of them out there on the streets do. And you just going out there telling people that they Israel, that ain't enough. You know that you Israel in word only don't benefit you at all. And just like I said, most of these young cats are naive. They ain't been in the scripture. They don't know anything. They bring themselves up under these doctrines that men are laying out. And look, now you got one that just got popped down here on the corner. Down there leaking. Just got shot twice. Yeah, I guarantee you. I guarantee you that'll wake some of them up. And then you got some of them that come out on these corners carrying pistols and everything, waiting on some trouble because they know it's just a matter of time before it happens. They come out ready to fight. Man, only thing I can say, brothers and sisters, man, y'all better get a grip, man. This is a whole, this is a new day. God bringing his wrath and his judgment. So, I just happen to be going to the store, man, and seeing them out there. And I just go on about my business. I don't even bother them because I ain't got time to be arguing with nobody on no street corner, especially when I know you don't know nothing, you know. And so you live, and then next thing I know, by the time I walk to the back of the store to the cooler, somebody say, they done shot them. I go back up here, sure enough, I-U-I-C. Now, I wouldn't make no difference what they going to do. Call another 10,000 members from all over the country to invade Kansas City. What you think that's going to do? What is that going to do? These, these brothers present themselves like an army, but they ain't got a tank, ain't got a bazooka, ain't got a weapon, ain't got nothing to make no war with nobody that they pronouncing all this judgment on. They ain't, they ain't, got, ain't got no weapons, no nothing. I don't care about brothers being mad at me. It don't make me no difference. I done been mad at me for years. My story ain't never going to change when it comes to these jokers out. It ain't going to change. If all you brothers and sisters out there that look at that, when you see them uniforms and all that, and you look at that like that's something charismatic, oh, yeah, I give you that. It's pretty charismatic to see a, a, a massive group of black men uh, unified, uh, uh, you know, with uh, uniforms and all. Yeah, that looks real good. But, baby, you better best believe you better look at what's up under it because God ain't dealing with superficiality. He's dealing with what's in the heart. And many of these brothers, you might have the different shirts on, you might have the fringes on, but your heart ain't changed, your heart ain't right. 
So you can't go out here. You can't go out here in your flesh like these cats do and start dealing with people. And then they end up being the ones that's out there angry, cussing people out, screaming and hollering at people. You think that's godly? Man, get out of here with that. But they're going to learn. I bet you they're going to start thinking twice about going out on these corners in the hood. I guarantee you that. So, peace out.